The average American uses over 100 rolls of toilet paper, about 21,000 sheets, each year, contributing significantly to the industry's worldwide revenue, which stands at a staggering $100 billion. But have you ever wondered how toilet paper is made? The process is fascinating, starting with the collection of wood. The wood collection process is initiated with the aid of a specialized machine known as a harvester. This robust timber harvester, weighing a remarkable 18 tons, efficiently carries out wood collection in the forest. In less than a minute, it can fall trees, remove their limbs, and saw up their trunks. It's important to note that the wood used for toilet paper production primarily comes from trees that aren't suitable for other purposes, such as furniture. Crooked or damaged tree trunks find their purpose in toilet paper production. After the harvester completes its task, the harvested tree trunks are transported to a site where they undergo preparation for the next step, transforming into pulp, the essential raw material for paper and toilet paper. However, before wood can be transformed into pulp, it must first be converted into wood chips. A massive wood chipper machine diligently cuts the wood into uniform pieces. These wood chips are then fed into drums that strip away the outer layer of the tree while preserving as much wood as possible. Subsequently, a thorough water bath cleans the wood to remove any stones and sand, and even a metal detector is employed to detect and remove any stray nails or screws that could potentially damage machinery further down the production line. Giant rotating knives then further reduce the wood into tiny wood chips. These wood chips proceed along a conveyor belt to be stored in large stockpiles. However, these chips still require additional processing to become toilet paper. They contain fine fibers that need to be broken down, a task accomplished chemically in large industrial tanks known as decomposers. This chemical process, which can take up to three hours, results in the evaporation of most of the moisture in the wood, reducing its moisture content from around 50% to a more manageable level. The outcome is approximately 15 tons of usable fiber, referred to as pulp, from each batch of cooked wood chips. Recycled paper also serves as a raw material for toilet paper production. A sorting machine assists in the separation of usable recycled paper from materials that cannot be used. Near-infrared sensors are deployed to identify and eliminate any cardboard or unwanted materials. This remarkable machine is capable of sorting an impressive 400 tons of recycled paper daily. The recycled paper is subsequently washed in a massive washing machine, undergoing 14 stations that break it down into pulp suitable for creating new paper. Following decomposition, a process called fine cleaning further refines the pulp by removing tiny waste particles. Centrifugation is employed to separate heavy waste, such as sand or splinters, which are subsequently discarded. The pulp is de-inked through a washing process with soap, causing the color particles in the ink to attach to foam that can be easily removed. The resulting pulp takes on a sludge-like appearance and to render it suitable for paper production, it undergoes treatment with bleach and is diluted with water. With both wood and recycled paper pulp now prepared, it's time to transform them into actual paper. The paper machine, a colossal 120-meter behemoth, takes the prepared pulp and transforms it into solid paper through a four-step process. Initially, the pulp is fed onto a large mesh screen or belt known as a former wire allowing water to drain through while leaving a layer of intertwined fibers on top. Vacuum boxes and other drainage elements play a crucial role in controlling the consistency and thickness of the paper. Subsequently, the wet paper sheet passes through a series of press rolls designed to squeeze out more water, thereby increasing the paper's density. The pressed sheet, now referred to as a wet web, still contains a significant amount of water. It traverses a drying section featuring heated rollers that eliminate the remaining moisture, resulting in a continuous dry paper sheet. To eliminate creases, ironing rollers are employed, a process that takes only seven seconds in real time. The completed paper is wound onto a dryer known as a Yankee dryer. It is then crept to impart softness and a slightly wrinkled appearance. Micro-embossing adds volume and comfort to the toilet paper, while patterns and branding are printed onto the paper during this stage. Finally, the paper is rolled onto cardboard cores to create large rolls, 
which can weigh up to five tons. These rolls are subsequently cut into smaller rolls of various sizes in accordance with market demands. It's essential to highlight that some paper companies maintain their tree stands to ensure the quality of the paper they produce, and the chemicals used in the pulping process undergo rigorous testing and monitoring. The finished paper undergoes various quality tests, including stretch, opacity, moisture content, smoothness and color, before it's deemed ready for the market. While toilet paper production may appear as a complex and resource-intensive process, it remains a more environmentally friendly alternative to using valuable wood for pulp. Toilet paper plays a vital role in meeting hygiene needs, and gaining insight into its production process can foster a greater appreciation for this everyday product. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at the toilet paper production process. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more intriguing insights into everyday products. Stay tuned for more informative content and until next time, stay clean and curious.